Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, Mad Cat Sphere, and I wanted to upload a video to talk about the true reality of uh, learning psychonesis. It's very formless, it doesn't have no form to it, it's something that you have to uh, uh, develop yourself, it's something that you have to discover yourself, it's something you have to teach yourself. Um, that's something that I did with, uh, with Trevor 7, I watched Trevor 7 back in the day in 2015 and I didn't know what the hell I was doing but I learned and I got uh, I, I understood the things he was talking about but um, you know uh, I had to basically go into it on my own and I basically had to go into this thing and basically learn how to do it I didn't know what I was doing but I understood what he was saying the only thing that helped me was to, to, to do the breathing exercises to slow down relax Close your eyes, breathe deep, in and out, in and out, and then open your eyes slowly and look at the object again. And that basically is what taught me uh, how to move a side wheel. And basically, what psychonesis is, um, the techniques that I teach you about anticipation, that comes after, when you get more better. You know, when you have a little bit, when you want to have a little bit more, more attitude and you're more comfortable. But what psychonesis basically is, is basically just... Um, you know, having your your consciousness, your presence, um, being um, projected out to the object. The, what it is is that you take a deep breath. This is the for me. This is what happened. You, I took a deep breath. I closed my eyes, and I sat there. It was like 20 minutes or something like that. I did like four times. And what it is that you're kind of you have an intention to move the object, but you you don't have to visualize how you want the object to move. The visualization comes organically. You have to just have an intention. You know, you have the object in front of you, and you just have an, a feeling that you want that that the object should move. That's all you need. You don't need to force yourself to visualize something. You know, that's how I did with the side wheel. The side wheel is a foundation. You know, never disrespect the side wheel. That's always say. But basically, the ultimate thing for beginners is just to sit down have a side wheel created put in front of you sit like two feet away or a foot away and just close your eyes and have a feeling and intention that you want something to happen that's basically it you want something to happen you want something to happen and when you close your eyes if you have any visualizations it should happen organically and naturally don't force the visualization because that's going to disrupt the connection basically what it is is that you're just moving um, the energy around you. On um, the way you project your energy is just having to just look within yourself, and the object moves within you. You feel the object. The, mo the for the object to move, the the for the object to move externally, the object must first move inside of you. The object moves not because it's outside external. Um, influence but because it's internal influence you're visualizing um, it comes organically the the object is alive in you and the object reacts to that the external object reacts to the internal emotions and the and the uh, um, um, energy and your intention that's how psychonesis works and the object is reacting to that and it's it, and it's reacting to um, you know the, the the ambient fluctuations of your body's um, neuro, uh, bioelectrical energy and that's what psychonesis is control comes when you're able to basically um, it's kind of very confusing to explain but control comes when you're comfortable with projecting that energy when you're comfortable that the object will move and it does when it does then you override for that brief moment uh, uh, direct strict forceful um, uh, direction in opposite direction of where it's going but only when you become comfortable can you develop control that's how control happens but at the beginning you don't have to have control you just want the object to just move and do anything and the reality is is that the way we should see psychonesis is that that's that's what it is but how we should see psychonesis is that it is formless it doesn't have a, a label what we have to do is we have to see psychonesis for what it is it, it doesn't have a name it's not telekinesis it's not psychonesis it's just it's just uh um energy it's just in action it, it's in a nameless 
um, activity. The activity is separate from the name. You know, the activity itself stands alone from the label. The label is just something that you give it so that you can identify it. But the activity is separate because it has uh, more dynamic because you see it. What you have to do is you have to be. You have to become psychonesis. When you want to do it, when you get, uh, when you want to practice, don't get caught up in the fantasy, in the fantasy of trying to be Superman or Neo and uh, trying to be like Goku, like I said in the other videos. Don't be caught up in the fantasy. Just be realistic and genuine and real to yourself. You know, let go of the label. Don't say to yourself, "I'm going to practice psychonesis, telekinesis." Don't say that. What you should say is that I'm going to move this object. I'm going to move it. Just say that, you know. Psychonese doesn't have a label. Just like how, like, you don't have a label. You may have a name. That's your label. But you exist uh, separate from the name. You are just who you are. You don't have a name. You're undefined. You know, that's how Psychonese is. It's undefinable. You know, you are living. You are being. You are experiencing. And that is what Psychonese is. It's something deeper. In order for it to truly manifest, in order for it to work for you, you have to let yourself experience psychokinesis. You, you have to let yourself experience the motion of the object. You have to get out of the way and remove ego and uh, remove the force and the need for something to happen. You have to let yourself just connect and just let yourself just see. Let yourself see and feel psychokinesis. That's what it is. With psychonesis, you just do it. You just gotta just do it. Don't think too much about it. Now, with the final tips I want to give is that this is the big one that helped me a lot from the start. If you get frustrated with uh, moving an object, what you have to do is you have to make sure you're relaxed. You have to have a feeling that you want something to happen, anything to happen. Not a specific thing, but just anything. And then you just breathe deep, close your eyes. Take some deep breaths in and out, relax your heart rate, and calm down. And all you need is just wanting anything to happen. And that will make the object move. The energy will just move the object, regardless if it's a side wheel or a can. Something will happen. It will take some weeks, but it will work. And remember, you have to spend at least 20 minutes there, 20 or 30 minutes, you know, because it builds a lot of energy and a lot of emotional energy. Now, this is all that I have to say. I spilled my guts. I spilled my heart to you guys. This is as much as I could tell you guys. I dug real deep. I always dig deep when I tell you guys the things about psychonesis. As much as I can, I hope this will help you. This is the truth. Listen to what I say. Something will happen. Believe. This is Mad Cat Sphere, Rich Suspidious, signing off. God bless. Take care.